Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Basement Card Collector. Today's video is going to be a baseball card idea, baseball card story. Uh, I was looking online at some cards the other day and reading stories about rookie cards and are cards worth anything? What kind of cards can I sell? How to sell my cards? And I was just going down this rabbit hole on on YouTube and Google about baseball cards, prices, how to sell them, where to buy them. And I can't, and this idea hit me. So here, here's, here's the story. So like many of you, I'm sure I love baseball. I was a young boy who played t-ball, who played little league baseball. Then I got older and went to high school and had dreams of pitching for the Cubs, like all of you have, I'm sure. So I went to high school and I ended up getting a scholarship to play college baseball. So I played four years there and you know, you can imagine you were thinking you're close. You have, you know, then you, you kind of have the idea of it's like, it's not meant for everybody to play professional baseball. And so, but can you imagine if you were one of those lucky, lucky ones picked or drafted and then signed a contract and you work through the minor leagues and you finally get to call up and you make that major league team, um, and then you finally play a season and you get that first card. You get your first baseball card. And then you find that first baseball card. Maybe your family member finds it. It's like, hey, I found your rookie card. And I mean, how wouldn't that be amazing <laughs> to be finally you've made it to the big leagues. You're on a baseball card. And then you pull up that first card. And I have a little pile here. So what if you... What if you finally made the major leagues, you get your rookie card, and you share a card with someone else who happens to be a superstar? And you, you are now the other guy. And so I have a pile of cards here. These lucky people made it to the league, made it to the major leagues, got a rookie card, and now they're the other guy. So check out this small list of rookie cards that are somewhat well-known, some not so well-known, but check it out. This is an Adam Wainwright, 2000 Tops rookie. And there's also a guy named Jeff Dumatreit. Made the show, and now he's a rookie card, but it's probably, hey, did you get the Adam Wainwright rookie card? What if, and I just talked about this in another video. This is Chu Freeman, an Adam Brown rookie card. Well, the guy on the left, the Yankees draft pick, his name is Andy Brown. And actually, I um, I played on a summer team with him. He was so good. He made it to the show, and they spell your name wrong. You have a rookie card, but your name is wrong on the card. Come on, man. Come on, Tops. We're going to leave that up here. And then what if you make the league? Now some cards, and you guys know this as well, sometimes they put three people on a card, four people on a card. This is actually a pretty legit card. Um, Adrian Beltre rookie, Aaron Boone rookie, and a guy named Ryan Miner. So if you're Ryan Miner, hey, you made it, but you're on a Hall of Famers rookie card. And Aaron Boone's not too bad himself. He's a player manager now for the Yankees, but um, Ryan Miner, not so well known. But still, he made the show. He gets a rookie card. Ooh, how about this? Yes. Mom, check out my rookie card, says this guy, Lyle Mouton. He's like, Mom, you got to get this. Get it. We'll put it on the nightstand. We'll put it on the coffee table at home. And then Mr. Mouton realizes, I got some other young kid named Mariano Rivera. Hey, did you get that new Lyle Mouton rookie card? You probably were looking for the Mariano Rivera rookie card tops. So he made it. And this one is kind of cool. I mean, how about this? Vladimir Guerrero, Hall of Famer. Andrew Jones, super good. Gold Glover, borderline Hall of Famer, but probably not. And Billy McMillan wasn't ever, a, you know, a, an all-star, but he played in the league for a minute. What if you're Brian Banks? Just kind of a bummer. Here's a 1994 Tops. And again, this is not Jeter's rookie card, but you're probably searching for this card because of Derek Jeter, probably not for Mike Neal. Brandon Wilson did make it, but Orlando Miller was a decent player, but you're the other guys with Derek Jeter on the 94 Tops. 
And this is just more of a cool card. I mean, it's Mark Grace Rookie Fleer, but you never really see people pulling it or not that it's a high dollar card, but you're not really searching for Darren Jackson's Rookie Fleer. It's more of the, hey, that's the Grace Rookie Fleer from 88. Back here, same thing. I wonder if you're this guy. Mom, I made it. Fred Tolliver, yes. But you share it with a much bigger name, Andres Galarraga Fleer, 86. This actually was a pretty legit. It's got Cecil Fielder and Corey Snyder. Both of them pretty decent careers, not a bad pickup. So you might be searching it. Probably you're looking for Cecil Fielder, but Corey Snyder also was a pretty legit player for a minute too. All right, has anybody searched for the Bob Bonner and Jeff Schneider 1982 Tops rookie card? Probably not. They're the other guys with our buddy Cal. And I've had this card since I was a kid. It's beat up. It's got the corner smashed. But still, if you're Bob Bonner, you know, if it's a PSA 10, is your Bob Bonner rookie card worth a couple hundred dollars? The answer is yes. <laughs> I guess I don't know what they sell for. I have no idea what that means, but you're typically not typing in Jeff Schneider, 18, 1982 Tops rookie card. Um, my personal favorite, did you find the Denny Walling, John Scott, or Gene Richards rookie card from 1977? Probably not. They're the other guys with my man Andre Dawson, 76 Tops. And then I just grabbed a couple 75 cards, kind of the same idea. If you're Tom Verzier, Bob Sheldon, Phil Garner had a pretty good career, but you're probably looking for Keith Hernandez, rookie. Same thing for the 75 rookie at Armbrister, probably not. Sorry, Terry Whitfield, Tom Paquette, but this is a Fred Lynn rookie card. You, my friends, are the other guys. And did you find that Mike Garman rookie card, 70, 72 rookie stars Red Sox card, or are you the other guys? Cecil Cooper's legit, but this is the Carlton Fisk rookie. Okay, so Mike Garman, you made it. You made it to the show, and now you share a card with all-timer all Carlton Fisk. Uh, this is my oldest... Um, Bill Sorrell. I got a Bill Sorrell rookie card here. 1966 rookie stars, Phillies. And some other guy, Ferguson Jenkins, steals the show. So I love Fergie Jenkins. Love him as a cub. But this Bill Sorrell, dude, you made it. And now you're the other guy on a 66 rookie stars with, with a, a Hall of Famer, Fergie Jenkins. And the last one, I wish this were original, but I mean, when you think of two stars, sorry, two players on a card, on a rookie card. Now, this guy actually had a legit career too, but if you're Jerry Kuzman, he actually had a super long major league career, but it's not Nolan Ryan, okay? So you are on the, you're the other guy on the 1968 rookie stars for the Mets. Jerry Kuzman, very solid career, but but brother, you're not Nolan Ryan. You are the other guy on the rookie card for a legend. And this is not an original. You can see the shine. Uh, this is my <laughs> this is my my copy of a Nolan Ryan rookie card. But the idea, the other guys. So for this video, it really has no. It just kind of hit me the other day, and I, like many of you, would love to have made the major leagues as a pitcher, as a hitter, whatever it would be, but to get a rookie card and to not have it just be you solely, but you share it with not even just a decent player, but a hall of fame that people search out and you're just the other guy on the card. So, so my, um, this video again, just for fun. Um, I would love to find these guys in real life and, you know, interview Mike Garman from the fist card. You know, it's like, does he search out the Mike Garman when he's typing in Google for rookie cards? Does he type in Mike Garman 72 rookie stars? It just would be a cool story to interview some of these guys or to talk to some of these guys and see what their what their feelings are. Um, 
But that will conclude my uh, baseball card idea video. And um, I hope you like it. And if you have questions or want to watch old videos, feel free to do so. I make a video or two a week. Just love showing cards and talking about cards and and showing them off. So thank you for watching and we will see you next time.